Hi, my name is Kyla Williams and I'm the Interim Executive Director at the Smart Chicago Collaborative. Today, we are here for our third training in the series of three uh, with our youth-led tech instructors for 2016. We are so excited to be here. I have um, the pleasure of uh, being a part of this program, but also being part of the learning and training experience for our instructors. They are very excited and looking forward to teaching the kids in the Austin, North Lawndale, and Roseland communities. Right now, what they are working on is what we call rapid fire lesson planning. First curriculum item is Photoshop. Photoshop. All right, the second item is Talents and Gifts. Talents and Gifts is the second one. The third one is Civic Engagement. Civic Engagement. All right, see you right here. The next one is... Movie making. Movie making! Aww. One of the things that we pride ourselves um, in doing in the Youth Lab Tech program is called uh, co-creation, where we make up things on the spot that are actually really in-depth and uh, uh, positive learning experiences for you and for adults because every adult doesn't know everything and every child doesn't know everything and so together we sometimes stumble through and figure it out for the better so the teams are split according to their site uh, and they are coming up with a curriculum um, opportunity to instruct the kids with this summer that they've made up on the spot so they've had 30 minutes together to pull those curriculum um, items together. I chose 11 different uh, subjects that were not currently in our curriculum so that they can create something and they're going to present it to us as the listening audience and we get to provide feedback to them, not as a criticism, but certainly as something that maybe they didn't think of or just to give them some attaboys and girls, and we be a positive and encouraging environment for instruction. That same level of encouragement and inspiration that we have here is the same type of spirit we want to create with the kids. So it starts at home first and then we spend it out to the community. And so I'm excited to be here and excited to hear what the students have, to, or the instructors, excuse me, have to say. We've already come up with the concept to write down our fears on a sheet of paper, as well as get, I'm gonna buy those little $2 mirrors and write down the things that we dislike about ourselves on those mirrors. And we're gonna pass those out to the students to, to let them just kind of open up, give them a chance to see like, it doesn't get easier as you get older. It just, you just kind of figure it out. So their activity will be, once we get a chance to um, tell them our fears and our, our dislikes, their activity will actually be writing, they're gonna get a partner, pick a partner, and they're gonna write down their personal fears, and they're gonna write down their personal dislikes um, on their mirror. We would capture- It's health and technology. We would take pictures and video, <laughs> I'm sorry. We would take pictures and videos of the different um, food stores and stuff available, and we would, orchestrate them and put them together um, with the Microsoft Movie Maker and YouTube. And at the end of the, the program, we would create um, a documentary and um, present it to the community. If you're familiar with Snapchat and how to use it, we'll have them create a youth-led youth -led tech Snapchat uh, story and then sort of get to know how to use it, share, talk about their experiences in the program thus far. Um, and then after that, since it's Snapchat for Business, we are going to give them different ideas of youth who have started businesses and have them come up with their own business idea and create a marketing plan using Snapchat. All right, hello everybody. Our topic was choosing a mentor. My name is Maria. I'm April. I'm Johnny. And we are in the North Lawndale, the Firehouse Community Center. Um, so first off, we're gonna definitely come in, welcome the children. Um, we're gonna define mentor to, um, for each of us, what, um, what a mentor is, and then we're gonna allow the students to have an open dialogue to have them define what a mentor is to them, and then speak about qualities and characteristics they would like to see in a mentor. Our content goals basically would be to introduce the fundamentals of movie making and how the students to create actually a five minute film for themselves. Um, basically, our, our leadership goals is for them to basically discover the different roles and responsibilities with regards to Yeah, so we want the students to learn um, the differences between talents and gifts. 
Um, we want them to identify a talent or a gift that they each have, and then to explore ways that they can use their talent or their gift within their community. Mm -hmm. The lesson is going to be, what are talents and gifts? What are the differences between talents and gifts, right? Because there are uh, gifts. Ours were, was robotics. We're going to start off by asking, when you hear the word, word robotics, what do you see? Or what pops in your mind after they give their definition or example? We're going to give them the actual definition of robotics. After that, we are going to introduce the actual activity and uh, ask them, if you were to design a robot, what would it look like? And what would so it our be? topic was civic engagement. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to open it up to, to an open discussion. What is it? And then we're going to define it. This is civic engagement. And then we're going to use examples like um, fraternities or sororities. And then we're going to um, figure out how to recognize civic All right, so our overall objective for, for the curriculum is to enhance our youth knowledge and capabilities with Photoshop in a fun and nurturing manner. So first we will introduce a definition of Photoshop and we will tell them Photoshop is digitally using software to edit. So we have entrep youth entrepreneurs and what we decided was that we would start with like an introduction of a slideshow that shows brands that match famous people or local celebrities or even just young people in general. Can you match who goes with this, who created this? And once we're done with that, a mini lesson would be we would talk about what it is. So after we've um, introduced the idea and gone over some basics of digital options they have, we'll get into the nitty gritty of how to write a story. So we're gonna have mini lessons about um, the elements of narrative, you know, like what is a plot, what is character, what is setting, and then each part of the writing process. So they'll begin by brainstorming. We'll have an activity where they each have five minutes to brainstorm 25 topics. So thank you for your time tonight. I hope that you learned something. You have homework leaving here. Hello. So you got with your groups. You got a, a template of what you think your lesson plan is going to look like. We need that to be formatted and submitted by next Friday to Monica. So get with your people outside of this gathering and get your lesson plan.